Just knowing there's a way out can bring freedom. From the Chuck Colson Center for Christian Worldview, I'm John Stone Street with The Point. I've written a few times in recent commentaries about how people are victimized by the lie that we're slaves to our feelings. This is particularly true of those struggling with their sexuality. The loudest cultural messages are that change is impossible. Their orientation dictates their behavior choices, and they are what they feel. It's a prison, folks, and many want to escape. That's why I'm such a fan of the work of Exodus International. Some call them controversial, but as Alan Chambers wrote in a blog recently, it was his first attendance at an Exodus International Freedom Conference that allowed him to see a way out from his struggle with same-sex sex attraction. Ironically, the way out came because he began to see his struggles as connected with other relational dysfunctions that needed to be addressed too. In other words, he was far more than his feelings. In Alan's words, that day was an opening of a prison cell that had been locked for years. Alan's now the president of Exodus International, and you can find a link to his story at thepointradio.org. I'm John Stone Street. <music>